All right. We are here with Mike Sanders still of the Michigan Wolverines, and I told you before we started, I, I, my favorite play of last season was your pass breakup on Cade Stover in the, in the Ohio State game. I, I've got the play right here. I've, I'm hoping you might be able to just take me through everything that happened here. And feel free to be the coach in the in the film room and, and run it back if you need to. But all right. So uh, first thing is we're in nickel, mm -hmm. but I'm pretty sure they have base out. Um, they have yeah. So they're in base. We're in nickel. Mm -hmm. um, so my man here is Case Stover, who's and, much bigger than you, by the way. Oh yeah, that, he's he's. A, we had him on yesterday. He's giant. Yeah, he's that he's bigger than I am for sure. Like no question about it. Uh, but. So he starts off here with it looks like he's running. He's, he's blocking to me. Yeah. So so what do you do there? How technically, do you, I'm supposed to um, not blitz the quarterback, but, like, you know, contain in a mm -hmm. way. Um, so you, sp you kind of spy him? If, if, yeah. Okay. So, I, But I took my eyes off him to see what was the next thing coming around. And when I took my eyes off of him here, mm -hmm. I lost leverage. Oh no! Okay, um, so he slips by you. Yeah, so he gets by me, and instantly I'm in a you know get back and phase mindset. Yeah, but what goes unnoticed because of the play I made is the pressure by the D line here, um, and that's Chris Jenkins. Oh wow! Who okay, got in the face of C.J. Stroud, who honestly, if I think he had a clean throw, mm. probably would have resulted in a touchdown. Wow! So you know, big shout out to the D line. Um, big shout out to Chris for getting that pressure on him. So the pressure forces him to float the ball in the air. Um, and just, you know, only thing I was thinking that whole entire time was don't panic. Um, could, could you see the ball when, when you got your hand on it? Or was it that – were you looking back at the ball or did you just notice the ball when it got to your hand? Um, I, it's like I I wasn't staring at the quarterback, but I did see the ball out of my peripheral. Okay. But, like, the last, I'd say, six, seven steps of that play was, like, all in slow motion for me. Wow. Like, I was running. I saw the ball being thrown. I saw the ball get to his hands. I saw my hand get in between his gloves. Like, it was all like a slow motion movie, cinema type of. That's incredible. And and so I was watching on TV, so I don't rem exactly remember how the crowd. Did they start cheering like it was a touchdown? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you knock it away, and it's like, oh, and it goes quiet? Yeah. It wow. Was, uh, yeah, it was, it was like a, like a. I don't want to say a loss of hope, but it was like a. Like well, that a, was at a point in the game where if they if they score that touchdown, it is very much a, a, a live football game. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that is that is incredible. And and how long had you been playing DB at that point? Um, that was my twelfth game. Wow, because you were a receiver, and I imagine when you got to college, you didn't think you're going to be changing positions. Right. When they asked you to move to DB. What's going through your mind? Oh, I was ready. I was excited okay. for it. Um, I didn't flinch. I didn't hesitate. You know, I told Coach Harbaugh, like, I am I literally asked him, um, you know, when can I start watching film? When can I start working out? Um, and I texted Steven Adagoki, mm -hmm. who was a, uh, a GA at the time. Yeah. Um, like, you know, let's let's get it going. Let's, let's go. Let's, let's, yeah. let's teach me how to do this. Yep. And, so did you feel like when you got to spring practice, how ready for you – for it were you when you actually get on the field doing it oh i was ready yeah. like i was you know you would have thought i was playing db yeah. for you know three four years already now the move comes I, I imagine you're looking at it as this is this is better for my future i potentially have an nfl future as a db was was there any reservation at first and who brought it up was it did you bring it up to the coaching staff or did they bring it up to you uh, i would joke around about it okay to the coaching staff but Coach Harbaugh finally made the, you know, the last decision of, you know, he called me and said, let's do it. So what is it like playing for Jim Harbaugh? It's great. Um, you know, I know I have a coach who's going to do whatever it takes to help this program succeed. I know I have a coach who outside of football is going to help me be a better man. Um, I love playing for Coach Harbaugh. If, you know, if, if any recruits hear this, Coach Harbaugh is a coach you'd want to play for. Um, you know, he made one promise to my family, and it was that, no matter what happens, I'm going to be a – he's going to help make make sure that I'm a good man at the end of the day. So what has changed in your program other than beating Ohio State two times? Because I know, like, you know, 2020 was not obviously what, what you guys wanted. But since then, it's it felt like a different 
program? Was it was it the the staff revamp? Was it something you know player led? How did how did everything change to what it is now? Um, you know, we just you know we took a look in the mirror and realized that you know the change. The results we want won't happen for us unless we change ourselves. We needed to change our mindsets as players. Um, you know, we, we started taking things a lot more serious. We started fine-tuning the small details, making the small things the most important things to us, and just falling in love with the process daily, um, you know, and just wanting to do more. When you look at the talent in your secondary right now, because it's, it's a, basically a secondary where everybody's going to play in the NFL, how different is that from, from what – what it was before um just you know that's a uh, you know credit to you know the rec recruiting staff one and then just the the grind that guys come in and you know put in daily mm -hmm. um and just you know the the coaching that we receive from you know coach clink um you know the all the defensive coaches you know without them we wouldn't you know be you know the players we are um and, and you know lastly just you know big shout out to the dbs you know mm -hmm. we guys holding it down in there every day what are they doing in the weight room because i see michigan play when my friend bruce feldman does that freaks list every year and there's always three or four michigan players on it what, what are they doing in the weight room to turn you guys into into freaks um well first tell bruce you know show some love to the kids absolutely kid, <laughs> He's, it's always the big guys with michigan he never he never goes with the little no guys. but you know our big guys are literally athletic like those are 300 pound like machines um like mozzie smith was yeah. number one last year but like you look at Mozzie and that doesn't look like a three hundred, you know, three hundred pound like slappy. Like that's a three hundred pound can run a yeah. you know, four, six, four, seven, can move whatever amount of weight you put in front yeah. of him. Um, but you know, Coach Herbin, you know, the staff they you know, they prepare us daily. They do, you know, the absolute most to make sure that we are maximizing everything in the weight room. How often do you have to jump up those giant stairs? Um, that looks miserable. We actually, when did we do it? We did it, I think we did it Monday or, yeah, Monday or Tuesday we did it. Um, but, you know, it's it's just, it, it's another one of those things, like, yep. you know, it shows the twitchiness, it shows the explosion, it shows, oh, yeah. you know, who who can time their force the best. Um, uh, and Because it, it looks like a, that's a long way to jump. Yeah. And you're going up and going up and going up. And, but it's, when does that pay off? Like, when do you look back and say, I'm so glad we had to do all that stuff um it's just like just you know what, what you do out there on the football field um sometimes you're in the weight room you, you might do a workout that it's like man what am i doing right now yeah but with a with a, a coach like coach herb you know top rated strength coach in america there's nothing that he's doing that i would ever look at as this isn't benefiting me right because he's never going to put us in any vulnerable situations He's never going to do anything that's not in our best interest. Dude, are, are they good at explaining to you, hey, here's why you're doing this. This is what this is how it will help you on the field. Definitely. For those who, who care enough to ask or yeah. have those like, why am I doing this type of thoughts? Yeah. They'll sit there and break it down to you to help you understand. How excited are you for for this season? I can't wait. You know, camp starts next week. I feel like the closer camp gets, the longer it's taking to start. <laughs> I just want to get rocking and rolling. As you put all the work in already, it's time to pay it off. That's right. Mike, thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep.